Hi, my name is Dr. Felucia, and I'm a licensed psychologist and owner of Skillset Counseling. And today I'm going to be talking to you about um, how you can trust your gut after going through psychological abuse, whether it's narcissistic abuse, emotional abuse, spiritual abuse, which I frequently cover on my channel. So let's get started. This is going to be um, number one in the series. So I'm going to talk briefly about one way in which you can start trusting your gut again. Um, the first thing you want to do is I want you to um, think back to a situation where you dismissed um, an intuitive feeling or a piece of information or just something that proved to be valuable later on. And I want you to do this from the place of, um, of observation, right? This is not judgment. This is not, oh, you were so dumb. You shouldn't have done this. But basically, you're an observer in your life and you are um, going back in time. And I want you to separate, you know, the inner you from the outer you, I guess, and just take a step back and observe yourself in that situation. And what I want you to do is go back to a time, like, it's, like I said before, when you dismiss something, you basically dismissed your intuition. I believe we all have intuition. And um, some of and the ones I think who are stronger with it have developed the sense of listening to it. So when you dismiss your intuition at the time, why did you do that? Um, and specifically, I want you to think, what were your core beliefs uh, that caused you to dismiss your intuition at the time? So for some people, they might do that because they think, oh, you know, I'm too sensitive. You might be hearing like voices from your past or, you know, lies from your family of origin, whatever it is, but things about yourself that would cause you to see something and dismiss it, right? You might see um, a, a red light and just, you know, basically run right through it. So then there's some of these um, core beliefs or messages could be things like this. You're too sensitive. You're too critical. You're always looking for the wrong. You think everybody's always against you. Or why can't you be kinder? Why can't you be less judgmental? Whatever it is, you know, we all have like different sorts of things that either we tell ourselves, we learn from our environment, or we've learned from other people that cause us to dismiss very important information. So I want you to think about that. And if you have a journal or you like journaling, journal about that. And I want you to um, identify one or two main core beliefs that you had and were putting into practice at the time, or maybe you still have. What that will do is once you start challenging those beliefs, either through therapy or you know coaching and personal development, it will be easier for you to take that information in that you're getting through your intuition and not dismiss it. And again, this is much easier said than done, you know, especially when you've been through psychological abuse, spiritual abuse, any sorts of those um, relationships and, and instances where you've been in a dynamic or an environment with toxic and manipulative people. But the good news is, yes, you can rebuild that and you can start to learn to listen to your intuition and trust, again, trust it again. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments if you have anything or any other tips you'd like to share with other people. And um, if you'd like to book a consultation with me, go to my website, skillsetcounseling.com or click on the link in the description box. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.